Well, what a lovely picture that makes as referee Jim Kern restarts the Ulster final. Five points apiece, a free inside six seconds. And then the referee changes his mind. Martin Shovlin, who has played uh, well for Donegal at left half back, getting that ball down to his captain, Anthony Malloy, who will be uh, setting up attacks now into a very stiff free. James McHugh battling infield and winning a free. Declan Boner then, who had a disappointing first half. Uh, that one pulled down by Damien McCusker, who's had an excellent game in goal for Red Derry, has done everything asked of him very, very efficiently indeed. And here's Ender Gormley, has a lot of pace. And the referee uh, not uh, allowing the advantage there. Ender Gormley was in possession, but referee Jim Kern, who'd come from a long way back the field, uh, gives Derry the free. I have a feeling, however, that Ender Gormley would much prefer if he'd been let play on. No doubt about the foul. I wonder should the advantage have been applied. Derry looking for uh, the lead point of the second half, and they've got it. Now, Damien Barton, who has come in for the second half for Derry, has given his side a lead and in the conditions now on the win and a man short, it's really up to Donegal to hold out. Jim Curran has spoken to Martin Shovlin and Dermot McNichol, but there's no booking there for either man. Brian McGilligan battling as always for Derry. Tommy Ryan trying to get past Danny Craig. Tommy Ryan, good pace. He's looking for a man to give it to. Tommy Ryan trying to get into a goal scoring. Uh, position that ball knocked away from him. Danny Quinn does, does ever so well there, but uh, there was pulling and dragging there. It's a free in for Donegal. But Tommy Ryan, for a moment, was working his way into a goal scoring position. Tommy Ryan made a good move, one of three. Well, it's been very tight all through, point for point, and they're level again. Well, Martin McHugh used to be the free taker in the McHugh family of Kilcar. Now it's James's turn to pop them over. Brian Murray finding uh, Declan Boner. Declan Boner, a pair who likes a lot of space. Tony Scullion in close attention. Brilliant defensive ball by Tony Scullion. Just knocked it away. It looked so simple. But it took defensive skill of a high order to win that, of a high order to win that ball. McNichol battling with Martin Gavigan in the middle of the field. But McNer McNichol snapped it off the ground, free to Donegal. Put out by uh, Henry Downey. Dermot Heaney. Gary Coleman, who is playing as the free man now, uh, close to his centre half back and at times behind his centre half back. Anthony Malloy, leading by example. 
one of three again martin McHugh, i suspect would prefer if he'd uh, been let play on there because the hold up will give derry a chance to regroup Anthony Malloy taking the short one from Brian Murray, his midfield partner. Martin McHugh. Brian McGilligan shadowing. McHugh will try to sell another dummy here. Get around McGilligan. That he does. But he'll have to work hard again. Martin McHugh into Joyce McMullen. Joyce McMullen back into looking for a penalty or a goal, but he's had to come out again and seek the point. And in the end, he's put it badly, badly wide. That's a big disappointment for Donegal because against the Breeze and with 14 men, they badly need scores. Now Martin McHugh has sent in this ball on his wrong foot, his right foot. Joyce McMullen thinking of a goal or a penalty. Derry, their composure was excellent there. Their vigilance, their concentration, and they put off the, the Donegal man to such an extent that in the end he couldn't even get a point. James McHugh, Anthony Malloy was calling for a pass. Brian Murray had gone free. There's a point there surely for Brian Murray. That's a good drive by Brian Murray, but he's put it agonizingly wide. And there's a disappointed, disappointed Brian Murray. Six points apiece, seven minutes of the second half. Brian McGilligan for Derry. It's been all Donegal in the uh, early stages of the second half. Noel Hegarty to Matt Gallagher to Donald Reed. Noel Hegarty has to work very hard, but uh, the referee is there to assist. But, and Noel Hegarty will have to take it again because the referee wasn't happy with his position. Joyce McMullen but falling away from him to Henry Downey. Joyce McMullen for Donegal. Working very hard, Joyce McMullen. Hasn't a lot to show for it, however. So far, still to score. Martin McHugh, who tried for a point from there. That should be within Martin McHugh's uh, range. But there's the picture that tells the story. A dejected Martin McHugh. Well, this ball uh, popped through there to uh, Martin McHugh. There was a time when he'd uh, point that one with his eyes closed. Coleman there is the loose man for Derry but it was Danny, uh, his fullback Danny Quinn who uh, got in a punch clearance Danny Quinn has to uh, work hard but he has done well Danny Quinn now Barry McGowan the Donegal substitute sub for Tony Boyle Damien Barton of course is in for Derry and uh, tall young Anthony Tohill is the Derry man who was withdrawn at half time perhaps because of an injury he incurred in that incident involving uh, Tony Boyle. And at long last, Johnny Gold get it right. Tommy Ryan, the man who puts it over after Johnny Gold had shot four wide. Now Tommy Ryan had had a couple of chances in the first half. He hadn't had any luck with them, but uh, he stuck to it well, Tommy Ryan. And Johnny Gold, they needed a score and it was Tommy Ryan who got it for them
play will be held up here uh, because Damien Cassidy of Derry is on the ground with either a leg injury or cramp. Certainly he needs attention and he'll get it. Well, Brian McIniff must have feared at halftime that it would be an uphill struggle. 14 men, they'd be playing against the breeze, but he must be happy now because Donegal have played with wonderful spirit in the first 10, 11 minutes of the second half. And this uh, respite, uh, as brief as it is, will be something of a relief to Derry because they're under a lot of pressure at the moment. Well, how often have we seen it in the past when the team with the extra man allows the tempo of their game to drop? And so it's proving with Derry today. They're just not quite putting it together uh, as they did in the first half so often. There was a push there, and it was spotted. Brian Murray for Donegal. He has come strongly into this game, Brian Murray. Batting quality is coming to the fore now. Well, you can see there how difficult it is uh, in the wind to control the ball. But here's Declan Bonner to give it to Donald Reid. Donald Reid got one lovely point in the first half. Uh, indeed, he has scored many a point for Donegal, attacking from right half back. Tommy Ryan giving it back to Declan Bonner. And off the left foot, that will suit Declan Bonner. But he has put it, he has put it wide. for Donegal, very, very free. Uh, you'd think really that it was Donegal who had the extra man. The hard-working Tommy Ryan, who will uh, get onto his left again and uh, try for the point. A very good kick by Tommy Ryan. Great marksmanship, but strange really that the Derry defence are standing off their man and allowing the likes of Tommy Ryan so much freedom. Tommy Ryan onto his left foot there. He might easily have been put under more pressure, Derry fans will feel, but it was an excellent point. Carson drives it forward for Derry, towards Seamus Downey. And Matt Gallagher wins it, and it hasn't been uh, Seamus Downey's afternoon. Gary Walsh, Johnny Gall sensing that there's something to happen for them here. Their fourth Ulster final in a row. But now the loose man uh, tells Gary Coleman. Well taken there by Ender Gormley. Given in to Seamus Downey. There's a goal here for Seamus Downey. And it's come off the post. It can still come, however. Cassidy drives it. Downey drives it. Downey is the man who puts it in. But they're consulting. The referee will consult his umpires. The Derry cheers may yet turn to groans. Jim Kern, the referee, is the man who counts. The referee, the umpires count too. The goal stands. And interestingly, it was from the free man, the extra man, Gary Coleman, that it all started. And when it came through, it came off the post, the first attempt, Henry Downey. He must have been, Seamus Downey, he must have been very, very disappointed indeed. But when Seamus Downey got a second chance, there was no mistake. This is Seamus Downey, faced by Gary Walsh off the post a second chance fell to Seamus Downey goal Seamus Downey
Martin McHugh drives this free to Martin Gavigan. Gavigan attacking from centre half back. A free in and a chance for Donegal to get a quick equaliser. Well, a look. Seamus Downey, who got it? Declan Boner, a vital one. And Declan Boner hasn't failed. Well, Martin Gavigan, well, Gavigan, and Boner picked off the point. They're level again. Perhaps now we'll have uh, the excitement that was missing in the first half, and indeed we're having the excitement. A well-contested Ulster final now. Martin McHugh trying to get away from Damian Cassidy. A half block by Cassidy, that was enough. McDickle watching the break, but there's no break. As once again, Martin Gavigan comes forward. And what a great match Gavigan is having now for Donegal. Perhaps even the, uh, the most influential figure at the moment. Donegal have used James McHugh and Declan Boner uh, as free takers. And now they're using Martin McHugh and Martin McHugh, perhaps the man for the big occasion. He's got a lovely point and the Donegal flags are flying high again. Martin McHugh had shown a lot of nice touches earlier on, but his scoring boot not quite there until now. Uh, Henry Downey uh, in a little bit of trouble there as Damien Barton gets that ball through to Seamus Downey to Enda Gormley but Enda Gormley will have to turn here or find uh, a loose man Damien Barton running into trouble puts the ball on the ground three out to Donegal Donald Reed, always confident coming forward. Nice touch there as he turned in field, looking for Declan Boner. Sunny goal ball. He's far now from his left fullback position. Noel Hegarty, he'll have to get rid of this ball quickly. No, he overcarries. The free there was always on. Certainly anxiety uh, in the Derry camp because they've used their full complement of subs now. Damien Barton first, then John McIrlain, and now Joe Brawley is in the Derry side. Declan Bateson off uh, for Derry. As Martin Gadigan comes through once again for Donegal, having a wonderful match for Donegal, Martin Gadigan. Looking for Tommy Ryan. Getting around McIlroy, Tommy Ryan looking for support, but he's overcarried, three out. The support just wasn't there, and Tommy Ryan couldn't work into a scoring position.
Dermot McNichols, uncharacteristically robbed by George McMullen, but there was a foul. Gilligan for Derry. An inspirational kind of player. Knocked down by, uh, well, by neither man really there, as it goes harmlessly wide. crowd here in Clonus uh, enjoying an exciting second half now not quite top draw football but uh, it's absorbing entertaining stuff hard stuff as Anthony Malloy nips the goal Brian Murray a good ball by Brian Murray a great ball by Brian Murray and now it's all Donegal A two-point lead as Anthony Malloy drove upfield the Donegal captain. And Malloy and Murray certainly working well now, marvellously well, at midfield for Donegal. Murray, who had come into the game so strongly, kicked a beautiful point. Rona Reid knocking it down to Anthony Malloy. Jerry will have to uh, show drastic improvement in the middle of the field. McGilligan, normally so influential, isn't really in it now. Joe Brawley, the man foul. Well, McNichols took it quickly, too quickly. James McHugh has uh, George McMullen to give it to. Almost exhibition stuff now by Donegal as they weave uh, intricate patterns. It was too intricate. Direct play down the left-hand side would have suited there. Nice work by Barry McGowan to Martin McHugh. But are they keeping it too tight, Donegal? Yes, Martin McHugh uh, overcarries. He doesn't like that decision. It's one that not everybody here will agree with. Gary Coleman not working all that effectively as the free man you feel. Breaking for Downey, the dairy full forward. But Hegarty there for Donegal. He's in a lot of trouble. It's a free in. And this Tyrone referee, Jim Kern, is very, very strict indeed on carrying the ball. Hegarty and Gallagher, Cunningham in there in the Donegal full back line. They'll argue about that one. But it's been popped over. And then the Gormley is happier now that Derry have got a point at long last. And then the Gormley wasn't hanging around there. Now, for all their dominance, Donegal have only a one-point lead to show for it. And McGilligan has come into it for Derry. Gary Coleman, the extra man, playing more forward now. Dropping it into Downey. Holds it well, Downey. Wants to give it to somebody. He has Gormley there. And this is Ender Gormley. The angle suits him. And there's the equalizing point for a revitalized Derry. That's the satisfied man, Ender Gormley. Seamus Downey, who had been out of it early on. The goal boosted Seamus Downey's confidence. And Ender Gormley kicks a very nice point. All to play for now. Ten minutes 
for either side to win the Anglo Celt Cup. Pushing in the middle of the field means a free to Donegal. The wind has died a little bit. That'll help Martin McHugh. <laughs> Gary Coleman. Brian McGilligan. McNichol for Derry. Trying ever so hard to get into the game, McNichol. Brian McGilligan. Big, powerful figure uh, at midfield for Derry, but overhitting that one, it's easy for Gary Walsh, who looked for a free man. Gary Walsh had to come a long way, but he made sure when he gave a chance eventually to James McHugh. A free on the 45 meter line, perhaps a chance for Martin McHugh to go for a point. minutes to go in the Ulster final. Surprising really after the way Marty McHugh kicked a long range one that uh, it was given back to Declan Boner but it was a good decision and Declan Boner justified the confidence that was placed in him there by Donegal. It's a great asset really for any side to have free takers of the ability of the McHugh brothers and Declan Boner. There it was Boner's turn. lane but uh, into a very crowded area there and the Derry forward line uh, tactically positionally at the moment are all at sea as Noel Hegarty comes forward for Donegal has had a good match Noel Hegarty Declan Boner for once beat uh, Tony Scullion to the through ball a good shoulder but it didn't bother Boner Tommy Ryan Gives it to Martin McHugh. There's a point there for Martin McHugh. Yes. Oh, that's a lovely score by Martin McHugh. The man they call on Star Belt. Hegarty did well initially. Then Boner did well. And when the chance fell to Martin McHugh, he wasn't going to miss from there. Donegal really putting it up to Derry now. Brian Murray playing it through. John McGurk, a nice ball to Henry Downey. The Lavi men trying to play their way out of trouble. Here's Ender Gormley. Derry two points down. John McGurk attacking. Derry had lost it. Noel Hegarty, beaten uh, by Brian McGilligan, has a second chance, Noel Hegarty, to Joyce McMullen, playing it down low to Declan Boner, who has contributed well in the second half, Anthony Malloy, wants Boner to run free, 
has Martin McHugh. McNichol shadowing. Good little run by Martin McHugh off his right foot. Donegal would say his wrong foot. He puts one wide that Donegal could have done with. Brian McGilligan. Jerry finding it so hard to get into scoring position. And they're in a lot of trouble there. But they win a free. Well, Barry McGowan uh, was judged there to have fouled. And this is one Jerry must get. Four minutes to go as Ender Gormley tries for it and gets it. It was a pressure kick, but Ender Gormley was up to the challenge. A point in it now. Ender Gormley couldn't afford to miss that one. And they're wondering now what odds the draw. Gilligan wins a vital ball, wins it magnificently. He's in a bit of trouble, however, and Donald Reed is able to get it down to James McHugh. And McHugh has men in support, and Dun Donegal's support play has been admirable in the second half, particularly from the half line. Martin McHugh to take it from Donald Reed to Martin Shovlin up attacking. Back to Martin McHugh. There's a man free in front of the goal. But Martin McHugh goes for his own score from a very tight angle. It was very ambitious, but it was brilliantly executed by Martin McHugh. Now, if any point that Donegal get today can win the cup, it's this one surely. Martin McHugh. It certainly wasn't easy, particularly in a pressure situation like this. It was a lovely point. And here's Ender Gormley to put it wide. Well, here's uh, an anxious Brian McInnes. Brian McIniff, his team uh, lead by two points, but he has no fewer than three players injured at the moment. And there will be some considerable time added on, I feel, for second half stop. One of the injured... Johnny Goldman is attended to. Yes, that's right, there is, yeah. A minute and 15 seconds to go, plus a lot of injury time, I would feel. Now, Eamon Coleman, the same uh, spring is not in his step as in the step of Brian McInniff. John McGurk, quick Derry. A player who can lift this Derry team. Fouled by James McHugh. Is it to Ender Gormley? There's a point there, surely, for Ender Gormley. Well, he has tried a very ambitious ball across the uh, face of the goal. It's coming to Dermot McNichol, who tries for a goal. There wasn't really a goal on from there. There was a point, surely, for either Ender Gormley or Dermot McNichol. Well, you wonder why Ender Gormley didn't have a go from there. That was very ambitious. However, it did break for Dermot McNichol, and it's difficult to know really what McNichol tried for. A goal, probably. He didn't get it, Dermot McNichol. 
just ticking over 35 minutes as McGilligan wins it for Derry. Two points between them. 14 to 12, 14 points for Donegal, 1-9 for Derry. Two Donegal men are there. Martin Shovlin is one of them. And again, it's Martin Shovlin. He's played a very good match. Henry Downey of Lavey led Derry to a National League success. But is the championship out of their grasp? Or can they spring something in the last, with the last gasp effort? Knocked out for a 45-meter kick. Johnny McG McGurk's effort. Donegal hoping against Pope. Gormley chips it, looking for the goal. Knocked down to the full forward, that Downey. His kick is blocked. It's gone out for another 45. And the Gormley can hardly believe it. Seamus Downey it was who charged through there, looking for a last pass gas saving goal. But Donegal there in numbers. Ender Gormley tries again, almost two minutes into injury time. McNichol and McGilligan. But it's won there by Donegal, and it's all over. Donegal have done it. They seem to be up against it in the second half. They were playing into the breeze. They were playing with only 14 men. It was level at half time, but at the end, it's Donegal. 14 points. Derry, one goal and nine. Donegal, four Ulster final appearances in a row. Lost to one two. The one that counts is the one they've won today. The final score in Clonus. Brian McAniff there, the happiest man surely. Is Johnny Gold the champion? 14 points. Derry, one goal and nine points.